a potential strike. Six years ago on April 12th was the last teacher strike. There is enough money for a settlement. We're spending more than we're taking in. This is video from days before that strike in 2006 when teachers and district officials struggled to see each other's side. I'm positive, but <laughs> you know, I'm also re realistic. The issue was money. Teachers are asking for what amounts to a 2% uh, increase. Problems down there at that time, they were much different. 2006, the economy was just starting to turn. And so we were looking at economic items and insurance. Bargaining had been going on for almost a year and caused frustrations on both sides. Teachers decided then it was time to strike. Uh, the relationships with the district had were so strained that they just snapped and the relationships were all gone. Trying to get more insight from the district's point of view, I called every member from the 2006 board, including the principal at the time. I only reached one. Okay, thank Still you. upset about the situation, six years later, Dick Hanbury resigned as the board's 2006 chairman out of frustration. He says his stomach still turns when he sees what's happening today in Eagle Point. It's one thing that everyone seems to agree on. Being on strike is, is actually... Uh, for the most part, a pretty terrible thing. It's uh, it's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of stress because you don't know what's going to happen. The 2006 strike lasted just 36 hours. I think the kids probably thought of it more of as a vacation. But it wasn't a vacation for many of the teachers who were out of work or the district who had to close schools until an agreement could be made. Travis Cook, NBC5 News.